accused Kenosha gunman Kyle Rittenhouse isn't only out on bond, he's out and about. Photos of the Illinois teen at a bar in Racine have been circulating on social media and raising eyebrows. Here you see his shirt. It reads, free as expletive. And here's a pic of the 18-year-old holding a beer with his mom. Now, some questioned whether this all violated the 18-year-old's bond, but it turns out it is legal in Wisconsin for underage people to drink at a bar with their parents. Rittenhouse is accused of killing two people and wounding a third during police protests in Kenosha last August. The Antioch teen was released on a $2 million bond with help from actor Ricky Schroeder, pictured here with him on the right. Hello everyone, it is Artifacts96, back for another video for you guys. Okay, so, I'm pretty sure you read the title, so let's go ahead and get into this. Okay, yeah, what you hear was right, if you uh, saw any articles about it, yes, that was absolutely true. Let me move you guys over a little some. Oh, you're perfect, you're golden now. Okay, yes, he was uh, Kyle Rittenhouse, aka human piece of shit was spotted at a bar drinking along uh, aside some white supremacist groups, flashing some white supremacist signs, and also just having a good old jolly old time well, after he was released on bond for $2 million. Shout out to Michael Lindell and the former Silver Spoons actors for doing that dumbass, stupid ass bullshit. Thank you so much. But I really want to talk about this, you guys, because... Yes, I just want to show you for the people who still haven't, you know, if it still hasn't clicked yet, you know, if you still are in the dream of very much of if you think that as a person of color, you will be treated equally as pertaining to, again, human piece of shit known as Kyle Rittenhouse, you have another thing coming because he not only was able to post bail because of so-called Christian conservatives with the good old Christian values. I don't recall in the Bible where it says that if you don't like someone, if you don't like their cause, to shoot them with the AK-47 or AR-15, whichever it was, I don't give a shit. He still killed two people. I don't recall where it says that, but hell, hell, <laughs> you people read the Bible more than me, so <laughs> who gives a fuck? For, first of all, he should have never been able to post bail anyway. The bail should have never been set at all. It should have been nothing. He should have never been allowed to go free at all. He killed two people, and he's allowed to go free and drink at a bar. Now, get this now. Here's where the kicker comes in now. What I just said versus someone who was at a Black Lives Matter protest holding up a sign. They literally served more. Uh, people like that have literally served more time than him. Yeah, okay. Yeah, if any of you are still asleep, you know, by now, I, I, I'm going to need you to join the rest of the class because everybody else has been watching this for a while and have been seeing this type of stuff for a while. And we have all have borne witness to this bull crap. So, yeah, this is what's happening. This is what's going on. I'm not okay with it. I think that this is so full of fucking shit. And more importantly, the fact that his mother was with him, accompanied with him at said bar, she is upholding this bullshit. And for all you Christians, again, out there, I'm going to be snatching your edges a little bit. Do you mind if I snatch them? I don't care if you don't mind. I'm going to do it anyway. You let this happen. Michael Lindell, you let this happen. Okay? The justice system. You let this happen in no freaking circumstance should it be if someone killed two people, two people, should they be allowed on any type of bond? The bond shouldn't be said at all. I don't give a fuck if you said it for 10 million. It shouldn't have been said at all. You should have been like, no, no amount of money will allow you to escape free. But yes, what does it say again? Okay, well, excuse me. I'm going to get into this about the families. What does it say about the families? Who lost their loved ones by this uh, by this human piece of shit? This piece of shit right here. What does it say to them that they look on an article? Now, mind you, they just lost the people that they love, and they see on an article that the people that are that the person that is responsible for that death is now chilling at a bar, flashing white supremacist signs, and singing the Proud Boys anthem. Imagine how you would feel if someone who killed. A person that you know injured another one and killed another fellow. And you know that this person is out free right now. And then you're thinking, well, 
I'm pretty sure they're not going to let him go to a bar. That's what you, I'm pretty sure that's what a lot of you thought. That's what I thought too. That's what I'm pretty sure what those poor people thought. They're pretty sure they're not going to allow him to be at a bar, right? They did. Yes, they did. So, yeah, I'm just going to end it there. This is really stupid, but this is the world we live in. I mean, why not? I mean, hell, we have, uh, in America, we've got it all. We have insurrections. We have proud boys. We have we have teenagers who kill people, and they're allowed to go free to pose with white supremacists. So, that's all I have for today. As always, I'm Artifacts96, and I have nothing to lose but everything to gain. And I really want to tell people this. I'm going to get kind of serious with this, that this is the world that we live in. It's always been this way. It hadn't just got this way over the course of four years. It's always been this way. We've always had people who are religious to thin murderers and the worst type of people on this fucking earth. This is nothing new. This has always been. And for every single one of my religious people out there, if anybody that is religious that is watching this video right here, I need you to start holding your fellow people who say that they're a part of your religion. Hold them accountable. Stop letting them get away with everything, even if it's something in a conversation. Stop letting them do stuff that upholds these type of people. Okay, that's the only way that anyone will start looking at religious people with respect again. Because after these last four years, man, at this point, I seriously doubt that religion even has a pot to piss in at this point. But anyway, I'm gone. Peace. I have nothing to lose, but everything to gain.